Hello, it's Willie from Agile Performance. I'm here today to show you our new product. This is a drive shaft disconnector. Uh, you may wonder why would you want, why would you want one? Well, for four-wheel drive cars with very tight centre diffs or locked centre diffs, uh, handbrake turns can be uh, troublesome. So what this is is a clutch, and this goes in your rear drive shaft. So when you pull the handbrake, it disengages the clutch your car effectively becomes front wheel drive. You get around your corner, you release the handbrake, you're back to four wheel drive and off you go again. So what sort of cars would, would this suit? Well, if you if you know Agile Performance, you know we like Salega GD4s, so this is what we developed it for. It'll suit other cars of similar eras, such as early Evos, uh, Audi Quadros, or scratch built rally cars such as AP4, R5 style cars which um, which don't have electronic center diffs. So how this works, it's got an electro, electro clutch in there. Uh, you simply uh, feed 12 volts to it, which locks up the clutch, and take away 12 volts and it releases. So this unit here, the clutch, is a factory Toyota part from a 2015 or 2007 to 2015 RAV4, plus a few other Toyota models, and we'll supply this part number for you. Um, and then what we do is we supply the adapter kit, um, which makes it a universal fitment to virtually any four-wheel drive car. So as this is a, a universal part that doesn't bolt into any car, um, the output and input drive flanges are, are a Toyota pattern. Uh, they're very easy to get universals for. Um, so it's RAV4, Celica GT4, um, all the same pattern. Um, there's a fair, fair amount of fabrication and, in, and engineering that goes into installing these and a lot of very, consider, very careful consideration around the drive shaft design. Um, it's very easy to have problems with um, improper drive shaft engineering. We'll show you what, a, what we've done with our car and that'll give you a good guide. This is all the parts that are required. Uh, here we have all the bits that we supply as part of our kit. So backing plate, dry flange, um, this is the adapter for the spigot bearing, a plug, dowel pins, spring and retainer, two bearings, an adapter shaft and a cover plate, plus some hardware. So this part is key obviously, uh, this is the Toyota RAV4 unit from a 2007 to 2015 uh, four-wheel drive RAV4, uh, so these are common all over the world, they can be found quite easily second hand for a few hundred dollars or they can be bought brand new from Toyota for around uh, 1100 US dollars I believe. So it's up to you whether you buy a second hand or a new one. Uh, either way, uh, make sure that if you buy a second hand one or a new one that you get this. Um, so this bolts onto the rear diff. What we highly recommend is that if you get a second hand one that you replace this front bearing. We can give you the part number for that. This is a quick demonstration on how the kit goes together.
So this is the disconnector installed into our test car, the Toyota Celica GT4. So this can be mounted anywhere between the rear diff and the gearbox in theory. However, if I was going to mount it again, this is not how I'd do it. Um, the best way to do it is to mount it directly off the rear diff. Um, that saves you an extra drive shaft as well as having potential balance issues. So the main consideration around your drive shafts is that when you have a drive shaft coming out of the end of it and they're not permanently linked once you disconnect and engage the disconnector they're different relative to each other and if they're on angles and you get vibration from one they don't cancel each other out so what i've done with this with this car is this one this is perfectly straight so these ang angles are zero degrees and perfectly in line so you, there's zero um, I guess there's zero sort of movement in this drive shaft and then here there is um, there is an angle however there's a CV on this end so that um, that works really well um, we aren't drive shaft experts so this is something that you need to consider and consult with your drive shaft expert before you before you even mount this up um, as well as that, um, there usually be floor modifications uh, for most cars. Um, when I installed this, I put it in the most convenient place, which needed the least amount of floor modifications. So I just needed to chop and weld some plating um, up around there. Um, in terms of mounting it, I welded on some bosses um, to the Toyota housing, um, which is a perfectly fine thing to do. Just make sure you remove the bearing when you do that. Uh, the other option is to take um, take a mounting point off these lower bolts, triangulate it back to the chassis, which is also a, a perfectly fine way of doing it. And you can see the um, the wiring here, which goes to the disconnector and then up through to the body. Uh, another thing I should mention, um, because it's controlled electronically, you can run this through your ECU, so you can. Play around with different strategies in terms of, for example, uh, releasing the, the clutch uh, under braking um, or any kind of strategy which you may want to play around with. Um, another thing which I really like is most of the time when you're cruising around on your road sections and in and out of your driveway and, and whatever, whatever else, you leave it in two wheel drive and then you don't have your centre diff binding up and all of that and it just makes it so much nicer to drive. And then as soon as you're in your stage or your, or your sprint, then you, you have a full drive button on your dash and then you full full drive until you release the handbrake.